The other thing, just while they're planting, is another little trick is, my son loves this, it's the finger test. And uh, if you want to tell, if you set up your watering and you're like, you know, I don't think it's ready yet, I, I, I've turned my watering on, you know, you call me up in midnight and you say, look, Maddie, you said I could call you up whenever I've got a problem in the garden, so you're calling me up, this is the hotline, that is the hotline, and you call me up and you say, now, Maddie, um, I've got a problem because I keep watering it but it's still dry, and I say to you, have you done the finger test, okay? You never remember this, because I'm going to hang up the phone on you if you tell me you haven't done the test with the finger. Anyone tell me what would be a good test with your finger? Kate! Oh, excellent! There's this great, farmers use this thing called a tensiometer. Angus, you must remember this because I'm going to test you in class. Um, you, it's a tensiometer, now you put your finger in and you take your finger out and it should actually hold on to some dirt. Now that is a little bit dry, okay? So it didn't hold on to that much dirt. Okay, and that's a really easy way of which you can test it. So can you kids see that? Ah! Oh my God, it's scary! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's great. I can do that if they just scare kids. Um, <laughs> sorry if I meant. Like, Okay, so um, so that's a little um, test. Now, the, I think there is another test on that sheet that you could also do. And come on, Nick, where is the, um, where's that sheet? What's, there's another test on that, isn't there? Listening, what does it say? What, oh, moisture, moisture test and soil type. Okay, now if you're building up your soil, what you should do, I am going to get my hands a bit dirty, by the way. You're like, you don't, you're not a man of your word, mate. Okay, what you do is, has anyone seen the, the bolus test or the ribbon test? The ribbon. You've seen it. <laughs> the ribbon test. Now, this is not very good soil to do the ribbon test, but if you're using your own normal soil in your backyard, probably your ribbons that you push out, so you do this. You push, you try and push out soil, and it'll actually, if it sticks together, you'll form this beautiful long ribbon. And people get paid a lot of money. Sorry, any agronomists, I'm giving you, um, especially Angus's mum, she's an agronomist, I'm giving her tricks away. But you push out soil, like just with your thumb. I'll have to give some demonstrations, private demonstrations later on if you're interested. But you push it out and you form a ribbon. Now, if your ribbon is, is longer than 10 centimetres, you've got very clay soil. Do not grow veggies, okay? You're going to just kill them all. It's like suicidal. Okay, so you want to try and make sure your, veggie, uh, your, your soil ribbon length is just about five centimetres to about three centimetres. It's exactly what no. farms want when they're building up soil. Um, so if you build up your soil, it will be perfect. If you start importing soil from, your, from other parts of your garden, be, just be careful, weeds and clay soil around here. Now, these guys have done a very good job. Let's give them a big clap. Nick and Elsa. I might give them some extra points in their next science test. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we've got, uh, yeah, we've, we've laid it out like that. Now, the next step is what? What are we missing? Especially in Forbes. We really need what? Oh, yes! <laughs> Diane, well done. Mulch! Okay, guys, mulch away. Let's see how they go. Let's see if it's intu intuitive. No. Vegetable mix. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, now they're going to do it gently by placing it around all the plants and not smothering them. Does anyone know what happens if you smother plants with mouldy mulch, wet mulch? Anyone know what would happen? They can't breathe and they'll die. They'll get like disease. Because fungal, bacteria, disease, all that kind of stuff. Well done. Now, I'm not sure if I was mentioning this before, I sort of lost track of my steps, but the fourth step was rotating planting. We only focused on one type of planting, and that is going, if you've got a small bed, going the shortest to the tallest at the back, um, so you, you're getting the eastern sun, you don't want to get that western sun. The, much, the better way of doing it is, I think, is don't go out and buy four of these, but if, the, you know, Bunnings would like me to say that, I'm sure. But um, you, you want to have four beds. Much better, we'll divide this whole section into four. Who can tell me what are the four rotational plantings? We did mention rotation, but anyone tell me what the four different types of plants and it's best to rotate them around? Oh, hang on. Gosh. 
you're in school, what was your name again? I'm Dalton. Dalton! Excellent, go, big voice, Dalton. Um, grasshoppers, leafy, roots, and legumes. Oh, how did he know that? Give him a clap! Well done! Okay, so there's four different types of plantings. Now, if you rotate those, I just grabbed a little bit of a fence picket, right? And I wrote on a big, big crayon, because that's all I did. Uh, my son, my son allowed me to use a crayon. I'm not, I'm not up to Texas yet. I haven't got my Texas license. But I have my crayon license, and he said, right, Dad, write brassicas on this one. So I did, and I put it in there, and I said, that's my brassica bed this, um, this time around, this season. Then the next bed I put in, that's my leafy bed. Then this one is going to be my, what is it? Roots? Is that right, Roots? And then this one's going to be my legumes. Who can sell me for 10 points? Maybe two merits. Give two merits. Who can, you're, you're looking like Angus is like, I want to get those two merits. Um, who can sell me what one fixes nitrogen? What one gives you free nitrogen? Legumes! Yes! Excellent! Legumes! Now, your legumes should be here. Which one uses the most nitrogen? Which one uses heaps of nitrogen out of those four? Oh, Benny's like, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but I'm a French teacher. I think you're the French word for it. <laughs> Who can sell me? What is it? Oh, not the Almost. Brassicas, brassicas, brassicas use heaps. Now, if you don't have enough nitrogen in the brassica, no go, no go, okay. Now, um, so, so you want that. Then you want your leafies after that, and then you can have your roots after that. Who can tell me why would you want your root vegetables having hardly any nitrogen in the soil? Why do you want hardly any nitrogen in that soil? Yes, it does. Oh, you are good. You are good. Yeah, that's definitely. I think that's what's meant to love after merits. Yeah. <laughs> you fork it. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And it's not the swear word for. It's forking, so your actual carrots will produce several different, will be more like a fibrous network rather than a central um, tap root. So same with if you want to put beetroots in, you can have a lot of problems if you've got too much nitrogen. A lot of those root vegetables like things like micronutrients, like molybdenum and things like that, okay? So there you go, the four steps. So who can tell me what's step number one? No cheating. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yes. And what's step number one? Weed prevention, <laughs> yes. Step two, my man. <laughs> Gosh, just like you, a healthy man. Step three. <laughs> Where's the sheep? Where's the sheep? Who's got the sheep? Oh, you're sitting on it, are you killing it? Thanks. Auto watering system. Do not stand there and water for hours because that's boring. You'll you'll spend too long and you won't enjoy gardening. Step four, young man. Oh, rotate. That's right. Don't rotate your wife. Rotate your veggies. All right. Rotate your veggies. Very good. Okay. Big clap for these guys. Fantastic. Didn't they do a good job? Brilliant. So all they do now is they hook that up. I would probably, around here I'd do two hours. Two hours every second day. And it just puts out a little bit of water, drips it in there, and the, the mulch will cover it from evaporation and things. And your veggies will be smiling at you. And make sure you talk to them. Does anyone know why you should talk to your veggies? How do they, what, are, what do plants breathe in? Carbon dioxide. <laughs> Carbon dioxide. So that old thing where you go, Oh, veggie, you are so pretty. You want me to eat you. That's actually putting out carbon dioxide to them. That's why they grow. Guys, thank you very much. Free draw for this whole thing. Just over there, the P girls, that's P E A, the P girls over there will give you uh, a ticket. It's free draw. Pip's giving me a smile. He's like, you're on. You're on. He's going to win it, are you? Oh, what a cute man. Thank you, everyone. I'm Matt Hughes. Wonderful. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.